We lost, started the Muslim, we lost a couple of more. It's okay, Tiago, I had to mute the mute. I hear. Oh, we got a couple more on now. So Rachavim's name? I yes. love it. I love it. He knows his place. I had to mute. I had to mute the mute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we ready? Okay, we're on the bottom. Bottom of uh, Tezayin and Mubez. So we had said that Rabbi Rachana was weak, and Rabbi Yehuda and Rabbi went to visit him. They asked him if two people bring a gift from Medina Sayyam, do they have to say for another for another? We said, uh, and he said, you don't have to. So we have a little bit of an Akadah to Gemara. Adahochi, also Ahu Chavra. Now we're on Tomer Aleph. Meanwhile, came a person, Shakla Lasharga Mekamayo, and he took the lamp, the light, away. Either he extinguished it, or he took it away. So what is the Pshat? So Rashi says, because it was a Persian holiday, and you were not allowed to have lights lit in the, in the, in the house. Except in their in, except in their base of the Zorah. So therefore, there was a Sakana. So he came and he took away he took away the lights, which Rashi in Gemara Shabbos when talks about why we're not supposed to light Hanukkah Neris outside, I, he brings from the because of the Persians that they're gonna get upset. Anyways, so Omar, so Rabbi Rachana said, Rahmana, right? Saying Hashem, Ay Bitulach. Either you are going to give tulas from the word uh, shade, right? Either we're going to be in your shade or we're going to be in, or put us in the shade of Ace of meaning it's terrible oppression under the Persians. So either redeem us so that we can be by you or at least put us by Ace of, which is not as bad as Persia. So you want to ask the Memra. Are you really saying that the Armoi? I, I don't know why it's calling a Ramo, Ramo. In the footnote in the art school, it says it's a mistake. It should be Romans, not Armenians. But okay. The name of the Armoy, Malumi Persa, are you saying that he was, that the Persians were so bad that he's dominating that they should be under the, under the rulership of the Romans? But Vatani Rabchia, my Yosef, Kim Haven, Darko, who Yoda is Nakoima, Hashem understood um, the Derech of the Torah. And he knows its place. That's a question, actually. Right? Hashem knew that Kla Yisrael will not be able to absorb or accept the the Gezeras of the Armenians. So Omar Vigilas on the Bible, that's why they went to Bavel. Meaning Rome was was knocking them out of Eretz Yisrael. So they went and ran to Bavel like this, they could survive because the Bavel wasn't as bad as the Romans. So you see very clearly that the Romans were worse than the than Bavel, which was that's what per, that's who was in per, who Persia was. Like Kasha, Hamakame the Nesu Khabri the Bavel. One is talking about before the Persians came to Bavel, all the Basar does to Khabri the Bavel, and one is after the Persians. When the Persians, before the Persians got to Bavel, Bavel was Bavel was nicer. Once the Persians got to Bavel, then it became bad. <coughs> right, so that's basically. That's basically the history lesson that we have over here. All right? Okay. So, um, yeah, oh, there was something I wanted to say. I don't remember. Okay, fine. So that's a that's little bit of a guy to take him on. Fine. Then we go. We have pretty much a repeat of yesterday's daf. So we did say, right, the Mishnah again was talking about all the combinations of one aid saying and one aid only saying right, which again, the way it's supposed to be is the, that one aid is supposed to say the entire thing. I saw it written and I saw it signed. So this next case is one said he saw it, he saw it written and two say they saw it signed. So that's kosher, right? So Amar Rabbi Ami, Amar Rabbi Yochanan, Lo Yishanu, Rabbi Yishanu, Get Yoytz Metachas Yad Eid Ksiba. That's only if the get was brought by the by the by the aid of meaning the aid on the written on the written part of the get was meant to be the shliach. So therefore, we have the Takana Sachavim that one aid works. The Nasu Kishnayim Alzeh because technically 
when the Torah trusts one person, we look at him like he's two people. And like two people on the on the seal on the signing, right? So you have two people on the ksav and two people on the signing. But if it's under the Eide Chasima, meaning if the Eide Chasima are the ones that were supposed to bring the get and they were the shlupin with the get, puzzle is puzzle. Alma Kasava. So there we see Shnayim Shaviyu get from Medina Sayyam. Two people that bring a get from Medina Sayyam. Tzrichin Shayyam, Bifanenu Nechta, Bifanenu Nechta. Right? Meaning if he's saying that if the two uh, witnesses were meant to be the shlupin, so then, and if they don't say it, so then it's a problem. So that means that he holds that they have to say it. And they have to say before nechtav too. And since they didn't say nechtav, because that was only one, so it doesn't work. So then that, if that's the case, in the ratio where it says two Adam said it was written in front of them, and one of them says it was signed, puzzle, it's puzzle. Rabbi Huda Masha, Rabbi Huda says, it's kosher, but filu get yoytz mitachas yidei shneim, and even if a get goes from both of them, pasi rabbanon, the rabbanon say it's possible, right? Meaning the rabbanon should passel it in the in the first case, also. So I'm really in. She says yes, right? So then add a back and forth on the gemara there. The gemara doesn't say it here. Fine. Zimn and ashkei the yosef gemara. So sometimes. Rav Asi would find Rav Ami, he would say, get that even if the get was brought by the people that signed on the get, it's kosher. Kosher, it's kosher. Alma, Kasava, Shnaim, Shaviyu, get me, me, Medina Sayyam. Two people that bring a get from Medina Sayyam, ain't Srikhan Shiyam, Rav Ani, Rav Ani, Rav Ani, They don't need to say it, right? Because again, like we said, if the two Adim have to say, Rav Ani, Rav Ani, that means if they didn't, then it's no good. If they don't have to say it, then they act as regular Aiden. Right? That's the rule. So, so, uh, so sometimes he said it this way. So I'm a If that's the case, Reisha the Katani Shnaim. I'm from Neno Nechta. Ve'echad I'm from Neno Nechta. Puzzle. Right. To get his puzzle again. Two say they saw it written, and one said he saw them sign. Rabbi Yehuda Ma'ash. Rabbi Yehuda says it's kosher time. But they ain't haget yoytz mitachsi deishneim. The reason is because the get doesn't what wasn't didn't go out from under both of them. How get But if a get did go out from under both of them, then the rabbanon will say it's, it's kosher. Okay, which is the opposite of what he said before. Amar in. So he said yes. So the gemara says back. Not the gemara says back. Ravami said, but sometimes you told us the other way. Right, meaning one time, the first time you said. That if the get was brought by the two Adim, it would still it would be no good. And now he's saying that the get is good. Right? So basically, we have a stira in Rav Ami whether he requires two Adim that bring a get in order to be, if they're Mukhuyiv to say, Okay, it's a hard Gemara. He says it's a nail, it's a nail that it's not going to be moved. Right? Meaning Rashi says the second shot is the shot I'm going with. And therefore, it's going to be, the, if the get is brought by two Adam, then it's going to be, it's going to be kosher. Okay, that's a little, it's a little difficult that I'm with. Um, fine. Now we get into another subject, which is something called get, uh, um, well, it's going to be a get muktam and get ma'ukhar, and also the same thing. Um, it's going to be the same thing as a ksuba that goes first or any other contract. Meaning, contracts come along. Contracts come along with uh, um, how do you say it? Responsibilities that are attached to the contract, right? So, if, in other words, if I say I'm, I write in a contract that I'm selling my property to somebody next week, right? And really, the sale doesn't happen for another two weeks. So then a, a creditor who I owe money to may be able to come and take that um, my property from me for an extra week. Um, right? Meaning basically, 
can you can you put the wrong date on a star or can damage can can uh, uh, damage happen from it to either party? Right, so that's what the Gemara is saying. First, first the Mishnah starts with a simple case. Let's say you write the get during the day and it gets signed during the day. So that's pretty obvious. The Laila Venechtam Belaila, if it gets written at night and it gets sealed at night. The Laila Venechtam Bayam, and if it gets written at night and sealed during the day, those are all kosher, right? Because that's the same day. There's no problem, right? That's fairly straightforward. But Bayam Venechtam Belaila, but let's say they write the get during the day, but it doesn't get sealed till the night. Then it's puzzle, right? Why? Because, at least according to the Tanakama, because they dated the get one day too early, right? Meaning the, the signing is when the get uh, takes effect. So if they wrote on the star that it was during the day, but the, it didn't take effect till the night, so then, um, so, uh, so then you have a chashash that there's going to be some shenanigans going on based on the wrong date, which we'll see in the Gemara why that is. Reb Shimon Rashi, but Reb Shimon says it's kosher. A date, a get that has a date there before is kosher. Shall you Reb Shimon Oimer call a gittin shenechtemu biyoyim venechtemu belayla? All gittin that are written during the day and signed at night, psulin are all puzzle. Chutz mi gittin nashim. See here he calls gittin. He's not referring to gittin. He's referring to contracts. All contracts that are written in the day and signed at night are puzzle. Why? Because it's too early, right? And the guy who wants to come collect from it may not be able to collect from it because he says, oh, what do you mean? I sold you the property on this day, but it's not true. The sale happened later. But Gitei Nashim, Reb Shimon holds his mother. That you can do as a star mukta. Yeah. So, um, right? Because what's, there's no, it's no, there's no real debt having connected to a get. So therefore, it's, uh, it's okay. Okay, so then... It's, not, uh, it's kosher. <laughs> you shouldn't do that. Well, we'll have to you see about the lechatchilus, but yeah. 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 Um, uh, I don't know. Okay, we'll see. Really, the Gemara will discuss about Ksuba. Okay, we'll see. So, Idma, they learned. Yeah? Why do we even need a Zman and a Get? Why can't a lady just get a Get? And then she just shows it. Look, I'm divorced. I can get remarried. I'm divorced. All right? Why does why do you even need a Zman? So, for the reason that you're going to have a Zman, that's how you're going to know that the Zman has to be the right Zman. A wild Chashash. It's because of his daughter of his sister, meaning his niece. I think we have this in Yavamas or Ksubas, right? Which is basically, we're afraid that he's going to be married to his niece, right? And then his niece is going to go be Mazana under him. So she's Chayev Misa. But he's going to have Rachmanis on her because it's his niece. So therefore, he's going to rig a get that was written before she messed around. Like this, she won't be Chayev Misa. Right? You hear the love this here? He may, the reason why you need a man on a get is because the guy might marry his niece, who then may be promiscuous, and he's not going to want her to get killed. So therefore, he's going to give a get that doesn't have a man, and it's going to predate her nus, and then she's going to get off scot-free. What's the difference between his niece, Basa Chaisa, or any other wife? Because we're afraid, because it's his niece, he has more Rahman Hassan. Right? I mean, that's the basic. That's the basic thing. Right? Um, fine. That's so. That's Rabbi Yochanan's pshat. Rabbi says a more simple pshat. Meshum peiros because of the fruit, right? Because we know from Ksubas that the husband, whatever the properties or whatever money the lady brings in, so it depends. If she brings in nechsem milug, then bet nechsem milug is basically. Um, he gets to keep, he, she gets to keep the Karen, he gets to keep the profits, right? So you have all these fruits. So once they get divorced, obviously those fruits don't go back to her, right? Um, 
But now if you don't put his man in the get, when is the husband going to stop being able to get her fruit? So he's going to say, oh, this get came much later. I get to keep all those fruits. So therefore, you got to put his man in the get. Right? So that's again, those are the two pshat. Basa choysoi and because Paris. So Rish Lakish, my time, how come Rish Lakish doesn't say like Rabbi Yechanan? So he says, on Tommy Bay's now, Znus loy shchicha. Were you making a chashash? That you need to that you need to put his man on there, right? You need to put his man on there. So why? Because a niece may go be mazana. Okay, so it's not common enough to make such a gazera. Now, Taisus has a little different spin because Lachar, what do you mean? It is Shia. Taisus has a kasha. The first Mishnah, the first Mishnah in, in Ksubis, why is a Basula getting married on a Wednesday? Right? What's the first Taisus? What's the first Gemara in Ksubis? First Mishnah Ksubis is why is she getting married on a Wednesday? Because we're afraid she's going to be Mazan and you want to be able to get her to go, you want to be able to. You're afraid she was Mazana, she didn't have Basulim, and you want to take her to Bezdin. So obviously that was Shriach enough to make a Gezeira that they all marriages should be on a Wednesday. So what are you saying here that it's not Shriach? So Taisa says, no, it's not Shriach to have us nus with Adam and Hasra, that there's going to be a Chi of Misa. That's already, that's already not Shriach, right? But it is Shriach for, for, for an engaged woman to sleep with somebody else. That's clearly shriach enough that they had to make a gazera that everybody should get married on Wednesday. Are you representing Rabbi Aaron Horowitz? Is that what you're doing? With that kasha? Yeah, maybe I'm representing you with Aaron Don, maybe better. I don't know. Could be, could be. Uh, it's a good question. It's a good question. And then we're worried about our door, right? Imagine if the Chacham came that's... up with a sakon. And they're what? not saying this is not shriach, they're just saying with, with Edom and Asra. Correct, correct. Meaning Imagine if, if they you came took out... away the Edom and Hasra, then, then, then it would be. Yes, correct. That's okay. what that's what this is saying. Imagine right. we make a thing, like the rabbis come up with a new a new takana. This week, Rabbi Sai, everybody has to get married on Wednesday because this nus is so rampant that we need to be able to go to Bezdin on a thing. Can you imagine what kind of ruckus that would make? Right? Okay, I don't know. So, uh, um, we mess up all the chasana halls. <laughs> That's true. That's true. But uh, these days will become even cheaper to get married. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Tysus also says because um, that uh, what does he say? The last tarot says. Meaning here, it's not such a chashash. There, if she was Taka Mazana and they just got married, then it's there. She's also to him forever. Right? So there we have to be much more vigilant. Here, what's, what's the worst that's going to happen? They're getting divorced anyway. She was Mazana. They're getting divorced. It's just a matter of whether she's going to be Chayav Misa. Okay, obviously, it's not, a, it's not a good thing. One should be Chayav Misa if they're supposed to get it. Shouldn't try and get out of it. But the bottom line is, is that... Uh, Bottom line is, is that there's no damage la happening. Mashenki and Iksubis, there's a lot of damage in halacha happening. Okay, fine. So by the top line on Amit Beis, Rabbi Yochanan, my time alone with So how come Rabbi Yochanan doesn't say like Rish Lakish? Oh, so he holds that the husband Taka gets to eat the fruit until the ksuba, uh, um, until the get is given to her. Meaning, even though you write to get earlier, until the get goes there, he gets it. He, I shouldn't say he 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 can use he can use the fruits, right? Um, so the basically the whole thing is going to be on the receipt of the or the giving of the get. Okay, so Bishlam and Rish Lakish Rishim Hachi Kam Machsher Rish Shimon. Let's go to according to Rish Lakish. So now again we have a, let's just reset. Machlokes Rabbi Yochanan and Rish Lakish why a star why a get needs as man. Rabbi Yochanan has this wild gezera. Because a, a guy might marry his niece and she might be Mazana. Fine. Rish, uh, Rish Lakish says because the husband and wife are going to get into a whole sikhsukh about when he was allowed to eat the Paris until. So you need his man. Right? Um, so Bishlam, now that we have to say Pshat in, in the Mishnah about if this man was incorrect. So Bishlam, Rish Lakish, 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 Rish
We understand according to Rish Lakish, that's why Rip Shimon in the Mishnah says that a get that has the wrong man is okay, right? Because he holds that the husband loses out on the Paris the minute that the, the get is written. So when the if whatever the date is, it has to be accurate. my time the Shimon the but according to Rabbi Yochanan, why is Rip Shimon making a kosher? Right? Why are you not concerned about his concern that she may have been mezan? I'm going to tell you, I'll leave it to Rab Shimon. I'm not talking in Rab Shimon. I'll leave it to Rabbanon. I'm explaining why the Rabbanon hold that a star muktum is a is a problem. Right? It's meaning he's only going. He's only explaining according to Rabbanon. He doesn't fit according to Rab Shimon. Okay. So the Bishnah of Rabbi Yochanan, Haim and Ika Bain Rab Shimon Rabbanon. So according to Rabbi Yochanan, we understand why there's a machlokes between Rab Shimon. And the Rabbana. Thank you. Right? Um, because, because the Rabbana are chayshid for this nus. Right? And Rib Shimon is going with the, with, with the payers. El Rish Lakish, my ikabain Rib Shimon the Rabbana. But according to Rish Lakish, right, that he holds that the Rabbana and Rib Shimon say that the problem is with is the payers, my ikabain Rib Shimon the Rabbana. So why do they disagree? I mean, according to Rabbi Yochanan, right? Again, Rabbi Yochanan said that he's only going according to Rabbi Shim. That means he doesn't even go with the Rabbanan. Fine. But, but, but Rish Lakish, he, he is going according to both opinions, meaning Rish Lakish holds that the issue is Paris. So why, so then why do Rabbi Shim and the Rabbanan have like this? So Gemara answers, Peri the Mishas Kasiva Vat Shas Kasima. The fruit the, the machloik is that they're going to be the Rabbanon and the Rav Shimon is what the story is with the fruit from when the get was written until it was signed. Meaning, new, I guess, new fruit punked grew during that time. Right? So then what's uh, Ikabi now? That would be the difference between them. Right? So the Rabbanon that go until it's signed, so therefore, they, he could use the fruit up until the time that it got signed. And Rav Shimon is a, a Reb Shimon, and therefore it has to have the proper Zman. Right? Reb Shimon says, right when it's the get is written, he loses out. Yeah? And then nobody's going to lose out anything from when it's written, because anybody that's coming to take fruit from the, from the, from the husband, right when the get is written, that's the time. That if the purchase happened from the husband of the fruits, after the time that the get's written, so then the game is over. It's a little bit. It's a little bit confusing. I think I didn't explain that properly before. Meaning, what what's the problem that could happen? The husband sells fruits. I should have said this before. The husband sells the fruits that he's using from his wife's field, which he's allowed to. Once they get divorced, he can't. So his husband, the husband, sells a whole bushel of fruits. Then the guy, the wife says, "That sale is mine." And the husband says, "No, it's mine." So he says, "Okay, what time did it happen?" So if you predate the get. Then that's gonna that could mess up the purchase, or or who's gonna get it, right? So so um, so that's what it'll, it'll depend on whether on whether you what you hold when he gets it. So meaning if the husband loses the fruits once the get is written, so if you put the get the the day a little early, so at least the wife is not gonna get messed up. I don't know why we're not really concerned why the husband's not gonna get messed up. Right? Isn't he going to lose out? See, I have a hard time understanding. Meaning, meaning whichever way you go with it, may, if it's predated, so then the husband may, may lose out. Right? He's the one writing it. That's his problem, isn't it? Is that the shot? I don't know. But why? I don't know. Yeah. Okay, whatever it is. Uh, so then the Gemara asks about Ifcha Shamina Luhu, but we learned the opposite. Here we go, Peretz's favorite Terrence coming up. But Ifcha Shamina Luhu, but we heard the opposite. When do we take the Paris? When do we take the Paris back that the husband sold? If he sold the fruits after the time the get was written, then the husband loses it. But Nasina. Mishlaga says it's from the time that he gives it, right? So you see that it's the opposite of what we just said, right? The Mishlaga says 
the husband loses it once the get was get, given. So Gemara says, Epoch, right? we're going to switch it. We'll switch it. And therefore, whatever the whatever you said, each one holds, we just switch their sheetas. Fine. Um, okay, let's go back. So now, the, now, okay, that's the hard part of the doc. Now the Gemara is going to ask, from a few situations, like how is the takana of the chachamim putting this man on the get going to help in all situations? So this is by the Rabbi Yosef. Gimel git and psulin. There are three git in that apostle. The imnisus havlad kosher. But if they did, if she did get married based on having this get, the vlad is kosher. Okay, meaning there's three get in that apostle. Right, one of them is if the zman is written in the wrong time. But if she uses that get to get married, then it's kosher. So Gemara says, So then if you're saying that the get is kosher, so then what is it going to help? What is the takanas chacham going to help? Right? Whichever way you go, whether it's because of the niece or because of the fruits, what's it going to help if the ever the get is a get? So Gemara says, It's going to help that she can't get married with this get. If she got married, fine, but she shouldn't get married. They should write a new get. Right. So then, okay, so that's one case. Then what has another case? Let's say he cuts out the Zman, which again, is this hard to understand. What do you mean? He cut out the Zman. Everybody will, you'll see it. The Zman is cut out. He, he presents a get with the Zman cut out. There's a hole where the Zman was. So the Gemara says, uh, the Gemara says, my, what's the din? Amralei, so, so meaning, uh, I'm sorry, he could cut it out and gives it to her. Yeah, so if that's okay, so then how can the takon of the Chachamim help? Right? So the Gemara says, my, it's a my, so what would be, what would they, what would's going to be with the takon? We're not worried about a Ramai. Right? Meaning a guy that's going to go pull shtick, that's not what we did it for, which again, <laughs> um, what do you mean? But that's the whole chashash here is that the guy's pulling shtick. Right? The whole concern here is the guy's pulling shtick. They were saying this type of shtick he's not going to pull. So basically, we're worried he'll pull shtick to a point, but such a. Because he's going to get caught. Because he's going to get caught. So then, if he's going to get caught, so what's the habamina that it's that, that I'm saying? What was the. What we think before this? How could somebody. How could anyone not see that it was cut out? He's definitely going to get caught. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Yeah. Um, fine. Next case. Kasabai Shavua, Shana, Chaydesh, Shabbos. So if he writes in the get, he doesn't write a, a year or a date. He writes a Shemitah cycle. Let's say he says this get was written in the 29th cycle of Shemitah, right? The Shemitah cycle is every seven years. Shana, or he wrote the year of a Shemitah cycle, like the third year of a Shemitah cycle, Chaydesh, right? Or he just wrote, it was written in a certain month, or Shabbos, or, or the certain day of the week. So my, what's the din? Or Malay, so he said, kosher, it's kosher, right? So meaning you can put this, this vague date, not very clear date on. And so then again, what was the Takana? What are the Chacham trying to accomplish if he's saying that it can be so loose, the date? So Gemara says, It would help, meaning in the first case, that he wrote a Shemitah, so at least it will make it that you can't backtrack the get until the Shemitah before, right? Or for the, the seven years afterwards. Because if you don't say this, then how about every day? How do you know when the get was written? We don't put hours in the get. It's an interesting thing. We don't put hours in a get or a ksuba. Right? Ella, the yoyma, the kame. Do we put that in any star ever? No, not that I know. We don't, we don't do hours in a star. It goes with the day. Right? All right, so again, imit sabrim bani, ella, the yoyma, the kame, for the day from before. Well, the yoyma, the basre. And, and the day after. Man, we're meaning, what does it help to put in a day? Because it helps to make sure that you don't pull any scams that it was the day before or was the day after. Fine. So, 
but but the actual day itself, there could be shtick, meaning his niece could have been Mizana in the morning, right? And he says, hey, here's the get. It was written last night, right? So meaning there is still potential shtick to be played, even if you date it by the day. The only way to totally get it go against the shtick would be to put an hour on it. Now, I'm not sure why we don't. I mean, I have it floating in my head somewhere why we don't put, uh, anybody remember why we don't put an hour on a star? I don't know. So he says, yeah, the we the the yeah, yeah, maybe we talking need to know the mile then better. <laughs> right? So at least it helps something. Right? So uh um so that's you know, I just realized yeah. something. Yeah, you know, and, and explaining what what good it is to what what the benefit is to him for uh, that she, that uh, she won't be chayv misa because of, but there's another benefit is that a, 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 after the fact he can remarry her he can be machlekerish also if the get was was accepted. And then before, right. No, he can't because she, can you be Mafsa Gushasa if she was Mazana? Yes, right? Only if she did it through marriage, right? right Only right. if she married. So, so right. the no, get was right. before, she, therefore she wasn't Mazana. And then he could be Mafsa Gushasa. I hear, so that's a good question. So why Taka? Why Taka doesn't the Gemara say that that's the Hashash? <laughs> I don't know. I I think getting, getting out of a few nieces is probably worse than that remarriage. <laughs> It's true, but it's also that's bad it's enough. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Every situation is different. Can't always say. That. Yeah. Okay, situation. so let's see. Back. Maybe you're the. <laughs> now let's just do a few more lines. So I'm going to Ravina the Rava. So Ravina said to Rava, Kasve, let's say a guy writes a get. On to what Aleph now. But Aisve Bekisa say, and he put it into his pocket. The Mephaisa, the Mephaisa, because if He's Mephias her to Fias, meaning she'll be, she'll be Mephias, meaning maybe he says, I'm going to put the get in my pocket. We got to get divorced, but I'll put it away. Maybe I'll convince her to stay married to me. And then she will. What's so the, then, what's the Hava Mina? I have to give a get the minute I write it? No, that's the question, right? So what's the question? Meaning I, I, I could always, I, who says I have to give it? I have the thoughts in my mind, so I want to get prepared, sure. but I don't need to give it right away. It's true, so, but that's the Gemara is asking. So my, what would be, how would the Takana, how would the Chachamas Takana, you're supposed to put a date on the get help in this situation? If we're going to say that a guy could do this, right? A get, keeps it in his pocket because he hopes he could convince his wife to, to uh, what do you call it? To stay married to him, right? And then, then he finally eventually gives up. So he gives it to her, but it's going to be a week later, right? So, the, so now you have a Shtar Muktam. So if, how can you say that that works, right? So Malay, he said to him, Loy maktim inish on a, a person is not going to want to bring Puranias onto himself. Meaning, he's not going to want to be walking around with a get in his pocket if and holds it for a week. When he gets pushed against the wall, he'll write the get. Right? Um, fine. One more case. Um, Malay, Ravina, 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 we're talking about broken? sending a get. I mean, parent plus whatever. We're talking about sending a get. The Medina Sayam or the Medina Sayam. That took months in those days. Here we're worried about Maktim Puramis. That's the next question. That's Mamash the next question. Oh I, I don't have my Gemara. Also, yeah, I, I, I see you don't have a Gemara. I hope you don't. Also, have a Gemara. who writes the who writes the get? A sofer? A sofer, but the, the husband pays for it. But I'm saying so. Even so, you got you want it. You got it. it takes a couple. It takes a day or two. It takes a couple days. Oh, usually yeah, you get it done. You 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 get it done, and they're ready. They're waiting. They're sitting and waiting for you to write again. That's the way it usually goes down. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I never went through it. Um. Yeah. So. Uh. Yeah. That's it's usually the way it goes. Yeah. So, anyways. So the next kasha is what uh, what uh, Gershon was asking. So you have a get that comes from overseas. The michtavi ben Nisan, they're written in Nisan. Right? It took a boat's a long time to get there. There you go, Gershon. Right? But loimato at Tishrei, right? It doesn't come to the shem. So what did it help to put his man in there? Right? It takes six months shipping. 
Amalei, Hanu, Kala Islu. Nah, there's going to be a call. Right? Um, everybody knows that, like, oh, you know, this one, they, they, there's a call that there was a divorce. So, Mamela, it doesn't, um, it's not necessarily, you know, not necessarily to have to, to um, meaning everybody knows that the dates are not fully accurate when it comes to Medina Sayyam. Because, uh, you know, it's not going to be, so I mean, a guy wants to pull shtick, they're not going to buy it. They're going to say, listen, <laughs> we know you're trying to pull shtick because it came from Medina Sayyam, da, 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 we're not going to, it's not going to fly. Yeah. Okay. We'll stop over there. They had, they had social media back then already. They yeah. had social they media. Did. They started it's making, a they started doing a get a month before and, and, and they already knew about it in Haifa when it was supposed to get delivered. Quite literally, media meaning middle person or middle thing. The Gemara says in many places, Chavra, Chavra, Chisle, Chavra, the Chavra, Chavra, Chisle. Telephone, before that, telegraph, and before that, telegirl. Uh, yes. What, which word? The Oilam asked before if you cut it out, so if they cut the date out of the star, people will notice. What word did the Gemara use for cutting out? Did he use megas? No, 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 no. Megas Gemara's, is the word. Gaius. Megas is Gaius. the word? Gaius. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's from Geysers, the Shira. Yes. So I was just thinking that it could be you wouldn't notice. The way a cipher takes something off is to, to shear off a little bit of the cloth. They use a chalk, a kind of chalk on top of that, so it's not noticeable. Is that, and that's cipher, called Gaius? That's off. called Gaius? I mean, well, it's called scratching it off, but but if you do it the right way, you literally are shearing off the tiniest top layer of cloth. I I've been successful at it maybe three times ever. Okay, sounds interesting. Sounds interesting. Ah, a good cipher, a professional, a, a real experienced cipher can do it easily. It's Kemat undetectable. It'll take off all the ink that was there. Any, any, uh, whatever. Yeah. I hear you. All right. Sounds okay. So maybe that's Pshat. That would be Pshat. All right. I got to sign it off. Got to make the shtickle early shabbos. All right. Shtickle wow. early shabbos. No, early. I have to go to Rabbi Groner and speak over there. They make early shabbos. Uh, yeah. All right. Have a good shabbos. All right. I can shabbos. Shabbos. Shabbos.